as you begin this uh, video lecture, the assumption is you've already done the first page and a half of reading. So if you haven't read the first page and a half of classwork here, um, please do that first because we're just going to dive into examples. So in example one, we're asked to take the integral of 7 with respect to x. And so I know that the derivative of 7x is 7. So if I integrate 7, I'll get 7x plus c, some constant of integration. Example 2, we've got the integral of x to the fifth dx. If I want to integrate x to the fifth dx, well, I know that came from x to the sixth, because if I'm just reversing the power rule, then it must have been increased, and there should have been a one-sixth out front, because if I take the derivative of one-sixth x to the sixth, I'll get x to the fifth, and again, plus c. I'll pause for a bit. Go ahead and try uh, example three yourself. So hopefully you tried example 3. We're looking to integrate x to the 12th dx. And x to the 12th dx, well, that must have come from something x to the 13th. And so it would have been 1 13th x to the 13th plus c. Again, I'm just reversing the power rule. And one of the more difficult things is just getting my mind or getting getting a person's mind going in the proper direction whether I'm integrating or taking the derivative. Here we've got the integral of x to the fourth minus x squared so I'm going to integrate each of these parts with respect to x. And this will have come from x to the fourth came from something x to the fifth and must have been one fifth x to the fifth because if I reverse the power rule the uh, 5 divides out, minus 1 third x cubed plus c. Example 5, we've got the integral of t cubed plus t plus 1 dt. And if we integrate each part of this, we'll end up with one fourth t to the fourth plus one half t squared plus t plus c. And anytime we do an indefinite integral, we need to remember that constant of integration. Next, let's integrate three x cubed dx. Well, it would have come from something x to the fourth, and I'm thinking through, if I was doing the power rule, four times what would give me three? That's three-fourths plus c. So again, one strategy is to, as you're integrating, if you're not sure, take the derivative of what you think your answer is. You should get where you started, because you're just undoing a process. Um, number seven, let's integrate 2x squared minus 7x minus 8 dx. There are a lot of textbooks that will imply parentheses here. You'll notice I didn't write them down even though they are in your example. The integral of this would be 2 thirds x cubed minus 7 halves x squared minus 8x plus c. And again, we can always test this by taking the derivative if we weren't sure. Moving on to number 8. And we're really just undoing the power rule here. So we've got the integral. Again, I would recommend do it yourself before I do it, and then 
see if you're right. The integral of 3 fourths x to the fifth plus 5 thirds x squared minus x over 2 dx. So I'm integrating with respect to x. And this must have come from, by the power rule, something x to the sixth. And that six got divided out, so this must have been one eighth x to the sixth plus something x cubed. And so it must have been five ninths x cubed. And it'll be minus something x squared. It'll be minus one fourth x squared plus c. Can't forget the plus c. And again, these just take lots of practice. Example nine the integral of pi x plus 1 over pi. Now remember that pi is just a number, it's just a constant. So when I integrate this, this must have come from something x squared. Pi halves x squared plus 1 over pi times x plus c. Don't forget that plus c. Example 10, we've got the integral of 1 over x squared dx. I'm going to rewrite this as x to the negative 2 dx. And when I integrate this, this must have come from something x to the negative 1. And I don't know what happened there. Negative 1x to the negative first power plus c. And cleaning it up just a bit, this would be negative 1 over x plus c. Again, just reversing the power rule in all of these examples. And what is the integral of 4 over x cubed minus 5 over x to the fourth dx? I'm going to rewrite this to make it easier for me to see the power rule. This is the integral of 4 x to the negative 3 minus 5x to the negative 4 dx and this will be equal to x to the negative 3 came from x to the negative 2 and so it must have already been negative 2 out here because negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 and x to the negative 4 came from x to the negative 3 power so this must have been positive 5 thirds because 5 thirds times negative 3 would give me negative 5 plus c. Again, a lot of undoing the power rule. What is the integral of the square root of x dx? Well, that's easier for me to see as x to the 1 half power. And when I integrate that, that must have come from x to the 3 halves power. And so it must have been 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c because 2 thirds times 3 halves is 1. Right, just undoing the power rule. Three more examples for this particular session. We're just giving examples of undoing the power rule. We've got the integral of 2 times the cube root of y minus 4 times the fourth root of y. And again, pause the video, try it yourself. I'm going to rewrite this as 2y to the one third minus 4y to the one fourth dy. And when I integrate this, this must have come from, let's see, this would have been y to the four thirds power. And where would that have gone? I'm going to bring that down to get 2. So 4 thirds times what number would have equaled 2? That would have been 6 fourths or 3 halves. Minus, I've got, it came from y to the 5 fourths. 
5 fourths times what would have given me negative 4. That would have been negative 16 fifths. Plus C. So you can notice I'm just again undoing the power rule. We've got two more examples on this section. So the first, what is the integral of 1 over root x minus x to the 2 thirds dx? And if I rewrite this, this is the integral of x to the negative 1 half power minus x to the 2 thirds dx. And that must have come from x to the 1 half, so this must have been 2. This would have come from x to the 5 thirds, so this must have been negative 3 fifths plus c. And again, just undoing the power rule for the last time, in terms of examples, we've got the integral of x to the pi power plus root of pi, which is just a constant, dx. Again, pi is just a number, so x to the pi must have come from x to the pi plus 1, and my coefficient must have been y, 1 over pi plus 1. And root pi is a constant, so this would be plus root pi times x plus c. So there are 15 different examples of integrating just by reversing the power rule. And in the next video, we'll consider some tricks that you may have to follow.